Good morning, Washington Warriors. Welcome to another wonderful Friday, October 21st. Today is an A day, and uh, we have several announcements, and we'll kick it off right now with our student leaders. You got it. Uh, German Club meets today after school in room 118A. We'll be watching the cabinets of Dr. Caligari. There'll be food, so you should come. Also, you don't have to speak German to come. <laughs> What's the task? Improv meets after school today. This is a really important practice. This is the last practice we have before the show. You should really show up. In Ms. Tinkham's room. Um, so the improv show is on Thursday the 27th at 6 o'clock in the Little Theater. And you should show up. Be there, be square. Um, there will be an interact meeting today in Student Center room 128. Please make sure you're there. On Thursday the 27th, the orchestra is having a haunted house. Five dollars in mission. Be ready to be scared. Hey, listen, so that haunted house next Thursday is supposed to be pretty awesome, guys. Five dollars. Come on out. Bring your little brothers and sisters out neighborhood friends. Um, it's going to be a great activity. I'm glad that the our orchestra is putting this on. And from what I understand, man, it's not like going to be some kind of winky dinky kind of haunted house. It's going to be pretty frightening, guys. So uh, come on out. Have a good time with that. Hey, look, big time shout out to our cross country team. Our men's cross country team took first place. First place in the district meet last night to qualify for next week's state meet. And that's going to be out at Fort Dodge. All five of our scores finished in the top 15. That senior co-captain Sam McDermott, who was third overall in the race, freshman Max Loker, and Lewis Kleeman, who went six and then seven. They're running like wild hyenas out there. Senior co-captain Patrick Gorman, who came in 12th, and sophomore Paul Schneiderman, who finished 15th. Also turning in personal record performances was junior Caleb Kleeman, uh, 26th overall, and senior Joshua Linden, uh, Lydon rather, who was 39th. Great, great accomplishment, guys. You did a great uh, job on it. I was sitting out at the, uh, uh, heading out to the leadership retreat and got a text about it. And man, it was it was good stuff. So I'm uh, very proud of you guys. And you know, you're going to Fort Dodge next Saturday. Do a great job. Try to bring that thing home. And uh, we're very, 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 very proud of you. Uh, this is an announcement for Chili the tryouts today. Uh, so Monday, I'm sorry, this is announcement for Chili to tryouts. For Monday, October 24th, 25th, and 26th from 5 to 7 will be tryouts. You must attend Monday or Tuesday in order to try out that Wednesday. So reminder, you, in, order, in order for you to try out on Wednesday, you have to show up Monday or Tuesday. Wear shorts and t-shirts and tennis shoes, and we will find wrestling, uh, we will feel wrestling, varsity, and JV. And then soon, we'll be filling the boys' basketball, girls' varsity basketball, and boys' varsity, varsity basketball squads. Practices will be Mondays and Wednesdays, 3.30 to 5.30. Um, and that's from Coach Nimmers. So good job on that, guys. Uh, be reminded that uh, if, uh, about the speech, uh, the speech contest that's happening with the American Legion Oratorical Contest. This is open for students grade 9 through 12. And uh, students can write and give an eight to ten minute speech on some aspect of the U.S. of the U.S. Constitution. The top prize at the local level is two hundred dollars, and if you move all the way to the national level, there's a cash prize of eighteen thousand. Anyone interested should see Miss should see Miss Tinkham in room two eighteen, and the deadline for entry is November the sixteenth. Uh, remember that this Sunday, the twenty third, from one to four o'clock. Uh, we'll be celebrating the 49 years of outstanding service by Dr. Plagman. Uh, so please come out and join his retirement open house this upcoming Sunday. Any junior or senior interested in applying for a semester two internship through the Workplace Learning Connection must complete an application material by Friday, November the 4th. Application can be found at workplace-learning.org. Once again, that's workplace-learning.org. See your counselor to be sure if you can fit an internship into your spring schedule before applying. Uh, I will tell you guys, doing internships is a valuable, valuable resource that you should definitely do. It gives you experiences and opportunities to really see if you want to go into that career and if that career, what kind of majors and colleges lead to that particular career. So please take advantage of that. 
today's events, remember that uh, we have students off campus today at the Leadership Retreat out at Camp Wapsi. They should be there all day until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we have the Iowa Caucus debate happening here at campus. So students, when you are leaving today, you're probably going to see some other students coming in on buses and so forth. Just know that that's what that's about. Uh, 5 o'clock sophomore game against Waterloo West is at Waterloo Memorial Stadium. That's today at 5 o'clock. And then Boston at 715, big, big game. And uh, guys, we're right behind you, 100%. We know you're going to do well this evening, and we got your back. Uh, be reminded that tomorrow's events, we have a sophomore tournament. Uh, volleyball tomorrow at Linmore High School. We have a 9.30 swim meet, swim and diving meet uh, for girls sophomore tournament. That'll be at Cedar Falls. Uh, and then we also have, uh, t uh, I'm sorry, that'll be at Linmar. I'm sorry, that'll be at Linmar Aquatic Center tomorrow for the uh, sophomore girls uh, swimming and diving tournament. Happy birthday shout outs today for today. Aiden Brown, Morgan Chambers, Kelsey DeBrower, Fabrice Massey, Skyly McCauley, and uh, Josie Rooney. For tomorrow, birthdays, Lindsay DeWolf, Ren Grubel, Caitlin Peckman, and Ross Snitker. And then happy birthday Sunday to Landon Bunch. So good job, guys. Uh, so awesome, awesome, awesome uh, announcements for today. Students, be reminded that uh, today we'll still have the Anti-Gun Violence Pledge uh, banner up at lunch. We appreciate the hundreds of you that came out. Uh, yesterday to uh, sign that banner and uh, we're asking more students to come on in and join that that pledge and that commitment we're going to make about not being violent towards each other we're going to love each other we're going to treat each other with respect each and every day and we're going to find other ways to handle our disputes other than becoming violent with each other I know we can do it I believe in you we all believe in you so please just make sure we do that and then one last reminder before I get off the air uh, traffic in the hallways are getting a lot better but it can be a lot better as well. Students, there's a lot of congregation happening inside of the foyer. Um, this has come up through the watch through our committee WHS. I heard the same comments last night at the leadership retreat. Let's make sure we make an effort to learn how to walk and talk at the same time and not congregate in bunches because it's impeding people's traffic to get to class. We know you want to talk and be social. We love you for it, but let's find a way to do that a little smarter, okay? And we'll remind you of doing that. Have an awesome day, Warriors. Remember, it's always a great day to wear bow ties, and to be a warrior. Have a great day.